I like how they're using all these close-up cinematic shots and everything. Can you imagine what it'd look like if you just like zoom out on it, like without all the special effects and all the bullshit? <laughs> Can you imagine how stupid and ridiculous it'd look? Uh, Janet, what are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to look sexy. Did did I do it? <laughs> yeah, no, that uh, that really makes me want to buy jewelry and uh, n do nothing else, of course. <clears throat> when a girl finally gets that ring, she's going to show it to her mother, her father, her grandmother, her best friends, the cat lady from next door, and of course, Mr. Fufu. Mr. Fufu is really the only one you need to impress here. He has really high standards. He's far more judgmental than any of your family or friends, I assure you. And every single one of her Facebook friends. And to all 700 of her Facebook friends, who I'm sure she talks to all the time and who really care. Uh, that's not gaming. You're just jealous because you don't have 700 friends. Oh yeah? Well, I'll do you one better. I don't have any friends. Ha, yeah. Wait. Well, at least I don't use Facebook. Including Jose, whom she spent a magical night with five years ago in Guadalajara. I like. I just really hope for the sake of this newlywed couple that they don't go honeymoon in Guadalajara because that's a cuck and a half waiting to happen. Am I right, Jose? <laughs> the charm of Jose's biceps are just too much. I'm sorry. Hey, am I right, white girl? You see, I knew it. <laughs> so it better be a kick-ass ring. The ring better be at least as good as Jose's biceps, otherwise you're in for a bumpy ride, my good sir. Also, can we just get a playback of this clip right here? First of all, what are all those fucking people doing there when you're proposing to your girl? And second of all, is that fucking Jose? <laughs> you know, I thought he was in Guadalajara, but apparently he's already on standby getting ready to steal your girl. <laughs> Design your own at jamesallen.com jamesallen.com Hey, buy your ring at jamesallen.com or Biceps Jose is coming to cuck you next. <laughs> Alright, before we move on to the next ad, I did want to talk about this seriously for just a second or two more. Just, just humor me, alright? Because, you know, when it comes to marriage, uh, it's all about the ring. Yeah, forget about the person or the relationship or any of the stuff that you think matters. Nah, dude, it's all about that ring. You know, here's a crazy thought. You could just tell your family and friends and whoever else that, hey, the person you love just proposed to you, you know, without showing them any sort of ring or whatever and whatnot. I mean, I'm sure it'll be just as special either way, but nah, you know what? Fuck that, dude. It's all about the size of that ring, am I right? <laughs> God forbid that a guy buys a ring that doesn't cost at least $100,000. Unacceptable. Oh no, he didn't, girl. He just bought you a ring that only cost $10,000. You better dump his ass and maybe give him one of these, too, while you're at it. Mm-hmm. Ah, good old capitalism. Always making you feel like you gotta buy that super expensive thing that you think you need, that they try and make you feel like you need but let's be honest it's a bunch of bullshit you'd be just as happy without wasting all that fucking money on some stupid hunk of metal but hey you know that's just my opinion all right all right cut to the next ad <laughs> once chocolate was the best thing you could ever give her and it still is hey that's not chocolate I think he just got pranked, dude. The fuck? I call that getting tricked by business. K Jewelers presents Levion Chocolate Diamond Jewelry. Fuck that. That ain't called chocolate in my book unless I can eat it. Levion at K. It's the chocolate she'll love forever. Fuck that. Just buy her some actual chocolate. It's a million times cheaper and way more delicious. Every kiss begins with K. Nah, that's pretty gay. <laughs> 